Uh, Trey, let's move on to your second one. And you have one of, well, you really have two of the most interesting darlings that we all considered on this list left. We all support the troops. Um, Garrett and I don't, didn't take it far enough to take them, you know, this team to go over their win total, but tell me why you're backing Troy Calhoun and his bunch over the air force Academy, six and a half being their win total. Yeah, guys, do you know the last non COVID year that Troy Calhoun and company failed to hit that number? His first year on the job. It was not his first year. I, I, uh, it wasn't that drastic, but they have been the hallmark of consistency in a conference that is characterized by chaos. It's been since 2018 in a non COVID year that they did not hit an over. They went five and seven back to back years in 2017 and 2018. Other okay. than that, they have hit it every single year since 2014. 10 wins in 2014, 8 in 2015, 10 in 2016, 11 in 19, 10 in back-to-back years in 21 and 22, and 9 in 2023. I know that includes bull wins, but they're just a hallmark of consistency. They lost a lot of players. They only bring back six total starters. I totally get that. But in a situation where they are bringing in guys, obviously, to Service Academy, you're recruiting a little bit differently than you are at other places around the country they're bringing in guys that are ready to run that system and ready to be really coachable in that system and really their schedule isn't that daunting like six and i think for most teams if you're looking at a team that's bringing back six starters total on offense and defense combined most of those teams over under is going to be in the like three or four range not the six and a half range so i think the six and a half is already baked into how good of a coach uh, Troy Calhoun is, but looking at their schedule, Merrimack, San Jose State, both at home, San Jose State breaking in a new coach. They go to Baylor. That's the game I should have on upset watch because I, yeah. I, the Bears, I, I think they're coming off a game against Utah, right? But yeah, they're playing at Utah the week before that. I, they're going to play at Colorado the week after Air Force. They are not going to be taking the Falcons very seriously. Like that, that's just, it's going to be difficult to get up for Air Force. Um, so that that's an interesting game. They tend to struggle at Wyoming, so I don't know about that one. But then you have to get up for Navy at home. And then after that, after the Navy game, you're at New Mexico. you got Colorado State at home, at Army, Fresno State, Oregon State, at Nevada, at San Diego State. So it's just a numbers game for me, really. I, th- I think they can find seven wins on that schedule. And it's more just about – gritting out a couple wins i wanted to back up my take of taking their defense too um they they just always have an elite defense on the field part of it's because their offense sucks the time out of the game and doesn't give the other team a lot of chances to score but they also are another team that just has a lot of guys that are playing sound football in their scheme not making a lot of mistakes and that's a recipe for a good defense it says something to me that they're as consistent as they have been in a conference that literally every single year turns out a different team that we think should go 10 and 0, but they go three and nine, right? Boy, if that isn't the truth, Utah state and San Jose state uh, flip that order, but San Jose state, then Utah state won the conference in back-to-back years in, I believe it was 2020 and 2021. Both of those teams weren't even projected to make a bowl game. Yep. Yeah, and Air Force has just been a stalwart of consistency in that conference. And I just wanted to highlight that I think it's disrespectful to them to have their over-under at six and a half. Listen, when Troy Calhoun is publicly on the record saying this will be the most challenging rebuild over one offseason of my career, I'll give Vegas a little bit of credence because that's that's not exactly bulletin board material for better is to go you know what let me let me back that but you make a compelling case based on play style the recruits that are always plentiful around the service academy specifically air force these last several years and troy calhoun's resume yeah yeah and far be it for me to disrespect air force over here i'm not trying to be disrespectful trey so sorry please please give me some form of penance here i'm not trying to not me that you got to apologize to it's I... america Oh, I gotta, I gotta drive up to the mountains and make my apology to that uh, 
to that. I mean, beautiful stadium right there, too. But Yeah, um, great campus. No, great, great. Look, I think there's a good chance that this could hit. I mean, you are right. They're very consistent. There's not a whole lot of teams on this schedule that really say, like, oh, yeah, that's an automatic loss, right? There's not a whole lot of those on there where you're saying, like, there's no chance they can win that game. That being said, there's not a whole lot of auto wins on that schedule either where I'm just saying, like, oh, for sure, give me Air Force. That's definitely true. There's some bad teams on the schedule, so they'll they'll win some games against some bad teams. Might be tough to get to six and a half, but, yeah, I think you're right. They can probably do it. There's, there's just there's too much variability right now with what could happen in their conference. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take them to come up, you know, somewhere near the top with just, you know, good culture, good consistency. It, they'll find a way to win. They don't play UNLV. They don't play Hawaii, who a lot of people are picking to be spicy this year. Um, they don't play Boise State. I mean, yeah, the schedule is not terrible for them. So I like I like Air Force. I like the Falcons out west. I think you've I think you've won me over on that point. So I'll, on, I'll join forces. Join with the, you. Join the Air, uh, armed forces bandwagon, baby. Come on. That's right. Gracious, yeah. how about that?